Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to delete records in a MySQL database using PHP. So deleting data, we use the delete command in SQL to remove rows from a table. So a sample statement would be delete from contacts where ID equals 9. What you have to be careful about is when you delete something, you are permanently deleting it. There's no undo. So uh, you have to be very careful when you're going to delete something because it's permanent. And when you do choose delete, you'll want to make sure you always use a where clause. Otherwise, all the rows will be deleted from the table, which is not a good thing. Say so for example, if we said, uh, delete from contacts, then it's going to delete all the rows in the table. So you might use a limit clause to limit how many records are deleted. So in our examples, we're going to be deleting a record and we only want it to limit it to one record. So we could limit one. Okay, now taking a look at the files that we have right now, we have um, show contacts page that shows a listing of all of the contacts and we have a delete and an edit button and what we're going to do is set it up when we click on the delete button it's going to take us to a script that is going to say really are you sure that this is what you want to do what you want to do because this is going to be permanent and then the user can click a button to say yes I really do want to delete this record so we're giving them a second chance and then when they do click to delete the record then we are going to display a confirmation that it has been permanently deleted now when you're deleting it's good form to use the primary key to find a match so you find exact matches show them a confirmation of what is about to be deleted so they have the opportunity to change their mind and then to confirm. And so that's the process that we're going to follow. So if you take a look at the show contacts PHP script, show contacts, I'm highlighting here the section that is displaying the button for deleting a record. So we're using a form tag and the action is set to confirm delete. So that means that when the user clicks the delete button, it's going to send some data to confirm delete PHP. Now the data that it's going to send is in this hidden form field. So the user doesn't see this, but when they click it, we're going to pass in the name of the form element, which we're calling SEL record for short for selected record. And then the value equals dollar sign ID. So this is in show contacts after we've made a query to the table to get all of the information from the table and it's showing it back out. So we're getting the variable and we're setting it up as ID. So if we wanted to delete record number three, then the ID would be ID three. So we would say SEL record equals three, and that gets passed to confirm delete. So now you've got a starter file for confirm delete PHP, and the highlighted section up here are what you'll have to add. So we're connecting to our database. SE, we're getting our variable, Right, our, our show contacts is sending SEL record and a value. So up here, we're going to get the value and assign it to a variable called SEL record. And then we create our SQL query, select everything from contacts where ID equals SEL record. So we're not deleting it here, we're just getting the value out of the table so that we can display it on the page so the user can confirm that that is the record they want to delete. So we're selecting everything where it matches our ID. And then we're going to execute the query and then loop through and get the results. 
So we get our variables out of here and then display our page that has the information from our query. So the user will be able to see, yes, this is exactly what they want to delete. And then we give them a button to really delete it or to cancel. So uh, if they cancel, then it just goes back to the show contacts page. But if they want to really delete it, this is set up just like the other delete button, except it's passing the ID and value to really delete.php. So let's take a little closer look at how this information is getting from confirm delete to really delete. So this is that same code that's at the bottom of that other screen, just zoomed in a little bit. So another form and the action really delete. We have a hidden form field that's going to pass ID equals and then the value of whatever ID is for that variable. So it's going to send ID and our primary key value to really delete. So let's take a look at really delete, All right? And in the comments up here, you can see it gets the ID from confirm delete. We find the matching ID in the database and then delete it and show what was deleted. So again, we require our database connection and we're double, double, double checking everything in here since it's a delete, looking to see if really delete was clicked and if it was if the string that's on the button is really truly delete and if that's true if it was submitted through post and equal to really truly delete then we're going to say our variable id is equal to what was submitted from the form we create an sql query to delete from contacts where id equals our variable id and then if the result MySQLI query, so we're getting the database connection, executing the query. And so if it's able to do that, then we say contact deleted and include the header file and then say record has been permanently deleted. If for some reason it can't execute the query, then we display a simple message saying something has gone wrong. So that's an overview of how to delete a record from a MySQL database.